Okay, so I've I've actually brought the uh, radio around to the AM broadcast band. Um, interestingly enough, it's really dead. At uh, I mean, I've got 1,200 megahertz tuned in. I've got nothing. Let's try 2.2. Nothing there as well. Alright. This is going to be loud when we tune it. 3 2. No. 3 2 is dead. 4 2. No. 5 2. No. Next two. I gotta go up the band. No. Nothing. Yeah, we're still hooked up. Six two. Seven two. No. Eight two. So, this thing is, uh, every band up to A2 is dead. Let's try the uh, zero uh, megahertz band. So, let's try nine, well, let's go up one more, nine two. Nine two is good, okay. Let's go to the zero frequency band. Okay, 500 kilohertz. No. So, starting at around 8 megahertz, the radio comes to life, but below that, this radio is. Okay, so what I found is uh, initially I thought the crystal oscillator deck right here had some issues uh, below 8 megahertz. But it turns out, according to the block diagram, uh, there's actually a first mixer here that's mixed with a 17 megahertz crystal. 17 megahertz crystal resides right there. The oscillator tube is right there. This one was removed for convenience. So the output of the oscillator is right here. I think I'm zoom or focus. Yeah, it comes out right here and goes to the first mixer via this cable. So this goes to the first mixer, that's the first oscillator. Interestingly enough, I found that um, no output from the first oscillator. So uh, it's kind of hard to take out this RF deck. So what I wanted to do is first check to see if, uh, if the tube was all right. If it had any emissions. Usually, uh, my experience with these tubes is that they tend to work. And usually the last thing I do is check the tubes, but I didn't want to pull the chassis. So, it's warmed up now, and as you can see, it's got some pretty, it has fairly low emission. So, I'm wondering if it's this uh, 6AK5 tube that uh, is the problem. I mean, it's getting a little bit better than bad, but it's squarely into the bad uh, range. So what I think what I'll do is I'll try to uh, replace it and see if that oscillator um, wakes up. And if not, uh, it might be worth pulling the RF deck. So hopefully we don't have to do that. Alright, so I found a good um, equivalent of this 6AK5, which is also a... Uh, a Jan uh, 5654. This one tests good. So to compare, I'll put this questionable one in there. And you can see what the uh, bad one does. I mean, 
here is waking up. So, uh, I think, I think I've got, I'm hopeful this might actually be the problem. Okay, so I've got the receiver warmed up. Now let's probe the output of the, uh, 17 megahertz oscillator J221. And there it is on the oscilloscope. So that, I'm very sure, was the problem. So I think we should be able to tune in some broadcast band stuff um, if I reconnect everything. So why don't we try it? All right, let's see. Let's hook up uh, just a wire antenna. That's a good sign. one station. Now the audio is a little distorted, and I think that the, uh, the AF gain when the BFO is off is kind of low, so I'm going to look for that. Island. 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 Un partido que dio para todo, y que tuvo todo tipo de ingredientes, como la expulsión, los goles, la emotiva. Galif, the Mets are 11 games under 500. One Wins this time 407, and by the way, there's much more coming up in 1010 Win Sports. Coming up at 4. Okay. Chris, you thought the first couple of days of the weekend by 10 were wet cycles. and cold here. We had nothing compared to what upstate and New England had. Mount Mansfield in Stowe, Vermont, got more than 13 inches of snow. Yet. Okay, I think this radio is a little needs a line, at least down here, maybe it's a little low. Pretty sweet. It's working in the low bands now. Let's check the uh, sensitivity, actually. Might be. Let's go up. Uh, up to 700 kilohertz. Bring. 
Sorry. Okay. Yeah, it's getting one microvolt, uh, no problem. Or better, actually, than one microvolt. So, all right, we have sensitivity, and uh, we can work the low bands now. All it was was uh, one bad tube. So next thing, let's look into the audio problem, see what we can fix next. All right, so I had some audio distortion problems in the uh, audio amplifier chain. Um, not quite sure what it is. I, it's funny because I hooked up this SIG gen right here. And um, I hooked up this SIG gen and I was hearing a little bit of crackling. Um, and I turned this up a lot and the crackling went away. So I curious as to where that loose connection might be. Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to reconnect the um, diode detector and let's see if we can uh, see if the crackling is gone. If not, it could be uh, could be within the it could be within the uh, audio frequency chain itself. So uh, we'll give that a try. Okay, so uh, the audio problem is clear right now. Got uh, temperatures in the middle 70s. I mean, you can hear it. Five-day forecast in three minutes. Sounds great. Coming up on WCBS News Radio, honoring a woman pilot who died during World War II. We'll tell you about it after sports business in 10 minutes. Markets closed for Memorial Day. WCBS News Time 4:45. Time for sport. Here's Al Gattulo. Well, Michael, for the first time in the history of the Subway Series, the Cubs will play four games in. Like we're up by four kilos in the Yankee Stadium on Wednesday and Thursday. Tonight at City, it's Phil Hughes seeking his third consecutive winning start against the Mets. While well, the Amazons will give the ball to struggling left-hander Jonathan Neese, he's one and five with a 5.40 ERA over his last seven starts. Add to the fact the Mets have hit just 179 with runners in scoring position while dropping 12 of 16, and well, formula set for the Bombers. To ways again. Pre-game comes your way at 6.30 with John Sterling and Susan Waldman right here on WCBS 880. You can okay. also listen to the game on WFAN. As you've been hearing on WCBS cool. 880, the incoming athletic director <laughs> Rutgers says allegations. Oh, I wonder what's wrong. I hate it when problems go away like that magically. I wonder if University. It's Julie Herman says she was camp. never notified of the letter student athletes wrote alleging verbal and mental abuse. Or it could just be a uh, dirty tube socket contact. So I think what I'll do is... Uh, I'll clean the tube sockets um, on the uh, detector and the limiting amp and just every tube in the audio frequency chain, just to be sure. Today on the women's side, we're Agnieszka Radvanska, former champion Wozniacki, defending women's champion Maria Sharapova, needed just 54 cool. minutes to advance in Although the audio is now pretty good in the radio, I'm fairly convinced that the bad audio issue may have been corrosion on the pins of a tube socket um, and also I'm curious as to how uh, fresh all the tubes are in the audio chain so I'm going to pull each one and check them and clean the uh, pins and down here you can see the uh, audio frequency stages and uh, I think once that's complete uh, we'll look at adjusting the dial which is off by uh, about 4 kilohertz.